he would be amazed at the big deal we're making of this. He was um, a, a very humble guy. Pop tarts, the most well known toaster treat in America. So well known, a movie is being made centered around the crazy good pastry. He knew about it, and people had told him about it, and um, he said to me, have you heard that? Is that for real? And I said, yeah, I think it is. We're going to have to watch that. So he was, he just stands amazed at um, what has happened over the past 60 years. But what many people don't know is that the founder, William Post, also known as Bill, is from right here in Grand Rapids. According to his son, Dan Post, Bill died this past Saturday. He was 96 years old. Dan says his father was much more than just the face behind the Pop-Tart. You know, I, I would say that's just a, a small part of who he was. Um, he was so much more than the Pop-Tart story. That's what he's known for in, you know, in other circles. But to his friends and family, he was just sweet old Bill. My dad wasn't just my dad. Um, when later in life, we became very good friends. Um, because when you're as old as I am and as young as he acted, um, there wasn't much age difference. So we did a lot of trips together. Um, he especially liked to uh, bike. And so we would bike in places that uh, were flat, like the Netherlands. Bill Post was raised on the south side of Grand Rapids, one of seven children of Dutch immigrants. His son Dan was just 14 years old when his father drafted up the idea of the Pop-Tart. At the time, Bill was the plant manager of Heckman, later known as the Keebler Company. When you were 14 years old and growing up, did you ever think that the Pop-Tart would make such a name for itself? Uh, no, I thought it was, he, he would often bring home samples of new products and I thought, oh, here we go again. We were the, the guinea pigs um, because he would come home every night and say, try these. <laughs> and believe me, the first ones would not have made the market. <laughs> um, a little cardboard like. Uh, but they kept getting better. Now, 60 years later, Don says his children and grandchildren keep a box of Pop-Tarts on hand, not only as a sweet treat, but as a way to remember Grandpa.